this is very nice. They're already stated here. USB 2.0 Yo guys, I need to pause this video. I just found out that this compartment USB 2.0, USB Type-C to Type-C. So the box already stated the input USB-C for charging HDMI. Nice. Okay, cool. So there is the port. It's in blue color. Nice. So here the logo is like that. I'll test the quality of this. Quite flimsy, but it, it covers nicely. Okay, the, there's a rubber pad at the bottom. It's nothing, you can open this, you cannot. Screws probably underneath this, but what's the point? It's just a hub. Wow, okay, that's quite okay. So the angle. My phone is not plugging all the way in because it's a very long USB Type C. That's the maximum. There's still space. That's that. So let's test it out. For this test, I'll be using the Logitech receiver dongle. And for memory card, I'll be using this. Huh, is it the other way? The fish. And the picture is like that. Not the same. Huh. Should be the other way around. Switch on the TV. Status HDMI. Start using text. Continue. Start. HDMI 2. So the whole thing is DAX now. I can use my mouse. So it's possible. Yep, that's DAX, man. Beautiful. Okay, that's cool. So let's say this TV is on. I want to pull up my phone and I want it to be instant. Just like that. Plug it in. TV is off. Now probably is reading the HDMI port right now from the phone. Samsung DAX straight away. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull out the phone again and plug it in just to try how robust is this device is. Pull. Now my phone is in lock screen. Let's say I'm gonna just plug it in. Samsung DeX, phone is not locked yet. Tap anywhere to unlock, means that it does have a security that my phone right now doesn't have any security, no Pi pattern, no iris scanner or nothing. It's just that it's there. So I just tap in the enter. And the keyboard, the hub, everything works. So this is awesome, man. The reason why I bought the Tab S4 is to have faster processor than my previous A7 Lite. Uh, better good value for money and long term and because both of these devices running the same processor Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED and uh, it's worth the money. It's like a combo. They are actually brothers and sisters or just brothers basically um, So now if I have this hub, I only spend 100 ringgit knowing that my phone can do exactly the same thing like the S and I do have an extra monitor uh, Which is the TV, a Samsung Smart TV. I could just you know Samsung DeX wirelessly from my Note 10. I don't think this one this one has. Pull off DAX. So there's no DAX compatible here. Like there's no DAX feature on S8 Plus. It has to rely on it has to rely on HDMI ports. Tab S4. I can just easily exit this out from DAX. Okay, DAX is switched off. It's like a portable DAX is way better than depending on a hub. And then there's the DAX feature right here. A long press. And this one, auto start with HDMI is connected. 
Auto start when dock cover is connected. That's true. This is better. Because I do have a keyboard, the book cover keyboard. So right now, I just plug in my tablet over there, whether it's possible or not. Let's try it out. Dex is already switched off. Now I'm going to put my tablet here, plug in. HDMI connected, stating. And now we have Dex. So Tab S4 also have Dex. So it's awesome to have both Dex right now. I can have a bit bigger display for this and I can use this for something else. But one thing about this dock is that it's very flimsy because it's not meant for uh, tablet form. So it might crack from there because this one is very dangerous guys. It's not meant for tablet. But it's possible to do a DAX with this tablet. So that's it for this video. I think it's straightforward. You guys can see the possibility of this basis dock. You can put a lot of stuff. So right now I'm going to test whether my SD card is already read out or not. So let's try it out. Let's try it out, the decks again. The TV is switched off guys, this is awesome. Okay, now I do have my decks running. And I want to see whether my files can be read through or not. Okay, my files. We have a SD card showing, I do have an internal SD card in S8 Plus. I do have an SD card externally ex connected to the hub. And it stated here 60 gigabytes. So I do have 64, 30 gigabytes and 60. So this thing can actually expand. The hub actually works. And I want to see whether it's charging or not. Yes, guys. So for charging, 29 minutes charging, fast charger connected. Awesome. Pull it off when you need to. Boom, settle. And the best thing about this case that the casing, it can close to take care of it from dust. Or any debris coming into the port so i think this is a very good buy and the link is down below guys check it out it's 99 ringgit so yeah i really recommend you guys getting this if you guys are wanting to have a portable system and uh, i really recommend you guys so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoy this peace